Samsung and Android Central we're here in Barcelona with Samsung taking a look again the Galaxy S7 Edge and comparing it to last year's Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. So the GS6 Edge Plus was the larger of the two Galaxy S6 Edges released, 5.7 inch screen and this year the regular GS7 Edge is a 5.5 inch device so this here fits somewhere between the GS6 Edge Plus and the regular GS6 Edge. A little bit confusing but basically it's in the middle of uh, the two screen sizes that Samsung had last year. And just taking a look around the device, it looks similar at first glance. This is obviously a Samsung phone and obviously an edge screen phone, but uh, the in-hand feel is kind of different, and that's because the metal here is much more curved than uh, last year, a little less angular and just uh, more comfortable fit in the hand as a, as a result, even though it is kind of a little bit slippery because you do have uh, the curved glass on the back again this time. If we hold it here, you might be able to see uh, the curved tapered edges here, just like a Note 5 where you can wear the completely flat screen on the back of the GS6 Edge Plus here. Um, beyond that, the overall so physical frame of the device is pretty similar, obviously a Samsung design, micro USB ports, headphone jacks, power buttons, all in the usual places. Um, one thing you might notice, just looking at the camera on the back here, because the S7 is thicker, you have less of a camera protrusion, and just uh, a difference in some of the accent colors there as well. The black GS7 we have here is uh, going with black accents versus the uh, silver tones that we have on the GS6. So some kind of minimal outside differences, but uh, really a very recognizable design here from Samsung. On the inside, uh, depending on where you buy this, you'll get either a Snapdragon 820 or an Exynos 8 processor. Of course, Samsung was all Exynos last year, um, but basically you're still getting the best CPU around uh, for the time that you're buying this. On the software side, we're running 5.1 Lollipop on the GS6 Edge Plus here. When it gets Marshmallow, it will inherit some of the GS7's features. But for the moment, you're still on the old Edge screen implementation. Here on the GS6, you've got Apps Edge, uh, People Edge, uh, and a few basic functions like uh, night clock and information stream. And uh, it's really been expanded a lot more here on the GS7. So uh, you've got all that stuff, plus Yahoo News, the weather, my places, you can uh, have it show useful shortcuts based on where you are. And uh, of course, there's a whole bunch of different ones that you can download as well. And uh, some of the features of the Note Edge have actually made their way back, like the uh, tools panel here. So that's a quick comparison of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and the GS6 Edge Plus. Um, some subtle changes from one generation to the next. Uh, the size difference is kind of interesting. This feels much uh, smaller in the hand than uh, the GS7, despite it only being a 0.2 of an inch screen difference. Um, but there you go, that's uh, the difference that a generation makes when you're dealing with Samsung phones. So from here in Barcelona, the GS6 Edge Plus and the Galaxy S7 Edge. Thanks for watching.